seen before. We've got to identify it. It's causing panic everywhere. Well, we're trying to get a clear fix on it, sir, but it's very difficult. I don't care how difficult it is. Just get it done. <laughs> sir, its flight path has become highly erratic. I think it's getting ready to attack. What? Code red. Code red. Signal alert. Prepare to be attacked. Alerting all units. Code red. Code red. Deploy defensive units around all military installations. Bring up the cannon and hurry. Hurry! Get it in your sights! It's behind us! Turn the cannons around! Turn them around! Have you identified the thing yet? No, sir. But well, we don't believe it's a stolen aircraft. Why not? It's not making any engine noise, General Urko. I thought our security was foolproof. It is, sir. <coughs> then how did it penetrate our defenses? Where's our intelligence? Why haven't our field units notified us about this thing? They've never seen it before either, sir. They know nothing more than we do. A plot? Could all this be a plot to undermine my leadership of the guerrilla army? If it isn't Blue Eyes and Jeff up there, then what is it? I'm not sure, Zira. But from its size, I can only presume it's some kind of monster. Monster? What kind? One we've never encountered before. Well, Dr. Zayas, has it been determined what kind of danger Ape City is exposed to from the flying creature? None, Your Excellencies. I am pleased to report the creature has been frightened away. Oh? And where has this creature gone? I have no idea, except that it no longer roams the sky above our fair city. Excellent, Dr. Zayas. Now tell us, what is being done to apprehend the blue-eyed humanoid? As this august body will recall, General Erko has been authorized by us to muster all weapons and ape power necessary to capture the beast. True, Dr. Zayas. It was a difficult decision at best. After all, Erko has demonstrated an almost total lack of ability. This is to be the General's final opportunity. He has pledged not to fail, no matter what the cost. But if he does? Then I shall look forward to dealing with him in the appropriate way. And if the general locates the humanoid beast? Then I shall recommend to this distinguished council that we authorize a full-scale attack. New Valley is such a beautiful place. I'm sorry to leave it. Hopefully our mission will only take us a short time, Judy. But retrieving the airplane is extremely important. I know. 
We just can't let it fall back into the hands of the apes. And the airplane is the perfect way to keep the open pass of the Ray of New Valley under constant surveillance. That's right. If Urko discovers the pass without our knowing, it would leave the humanoids vulnerable to a guerrilla surprise attack. How about the laser drill? You want to take it with you? It might come in handy, but it's too valuable to risk losing. It's going to be an extremely dangerous mission. We know that, Jeff. Are you sure you want to chance it? There are bound to be guerrilla patrols everywhere. We know. We're just going to have to be extremely careful. And prepared for every eventuality. It looks like the humanoids finally have the kind of protection they need against Urko and his guerrillas. And New Valley's pasture land seemed perfect for the herd. They're sure friendly enough. If we can enlarge the herd, they'll be a major factor in our food supply. What's that? It looks like some kind of a prehistoric bird, a pterodactyl or something like it. But if it's prehistoric, what's it doing here? Look, it's heading straight for the herd. Oh, no! It's grabbed one of the pants! Where's it headed? To those caves over there! Incredible! That monster bird picked up the calf with no trouble at all! I wonder if it will come back. Well, if it does, we're in real danger. It could destroy the herd. Once the monster bird realizes we can't defend ourselves, it's bound to attack us constantly. Is all our military equipment ready for the attack on the humanoids? Just a boat, sir. And what about my airplane? Have you found it yet? Not yet, sir. But we've got patrols out searching for it. And what have they come up with? Nothing as yet, General Urko. Nothing. That's all I ever hear from you. Nothing. I need that airplane for the offensive against the humanoids. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then find it and apprehend the ape traitors who stole it. We have no proof any ape stole the aircraft, General. But they did! They're out to get me, I know it! They want me out and are turning everyone against me! Could it have been the humanoids who stole the airplane, General? No! They're too stupid to know how to fly it. It was some traitorous apes. Sector 8 has been thoroughly searched. The plane is not there. Then start on Sector 9. Remember, General Erko is in no mood to let us get away with failure. I know. I've never seen the General so scared. Or so dangerous. How much further do you figure, Bill? Just a few more miles. We should be there before daybreak. That's if we don't run into any guerrilla patrols along the way. Let's keep our eyes and ears open and our fingers crossed. Bill, look! Fan out and search the area! And don't leave a stone unturned! 